Well, the meaning of this prize to me is two things. One is that the money itself will be very useful for me to help other young investigators, other young researchers to do some of the things they would like to do but they have not been able to get financial support for. So the money will probably be, sp probably be spent that way. What it means to me in my head is that it means that there are other people out there who care about the same things I do and they've cared enough about them to nominate me or write letters or whatever they did for me to get this, uh, for me to get this prize. Uh, because uh, I did not apply for it and it just uh, happened today. And um, so the fact that it's happened means that there are other people who care about what I've been caring about. I think we have to remember that at least half of the world is covered with tropical ecosystems and probably two-thirds of the people on the Earth's planet live in tropical ecosystems so that what happens to them impacts a very large number of people. Now maybe it doesn't impact quite as many bank accounts as some of the northern ecosystems do but it certainly impacts a very large number of people. Now if we just let all those ecosystems be destroyed what we are doing is committing a large number of people to living a very empty life because humanity was not invented in parking lots and alfalfa fields and reading comic books. Humanity was invented in a very complicated interaction with the world. And much of that complicated interaction lives in the tropics, or at least it did live in the tropics, and we are now in danger of losing a lot of it. But we still have a lot there. So for us to lose what's in tropical ecosystems would be to, to condemn people to a very empty life, Some, a life that is really only made by people rather than the other life which is made by literally millions of other kinds of things. My feeling is that tropical ecosystems are in fact much more endangered, much less healthy than are the ecosystems outside of the tropics. Outside of the tropics ecosystems are comparatively quite robust, quite tough and they can take a lot of punishment compared to tropical ecosystems which are very fragile and lose their species very easily and become badly imbalanced very readily. So from my standpoint tropical ecosystems are much more endangered than are the ecosystems outside of the tropics and we are at much greater risk of losing major pieces of the biodiversity and the ecosystems in the tropical ones than we are in the northern ones or the ones to the south, south of the tropics. My research is of two kinds. One kind is very academic, something I've been doing since I was 10 years old, which is asking the question of which caterpillars eat which plants and which parasites and which predators eat those caterpillars. Gradually, I'm working out what we call the trophic web of a very large, very complicated tropical ecosystem, trying to figure out what all the species of plants are, what all the species of caterpillars are that eat them, and why they eat them, and when they eat them, where they eat them, as well as all the parasites and predators that those caterpillars have in a particular tropical ecosystem, which is the one that we're standing in here, the one that I work with which is dry tropical forest joining tropical rainforest and joining tropical cloud forest. That's what I do as an academic researcher. And there I'm not trying to answer any particular applied question. The other thing that I do for my research is help and facilitate the staff and administration of this large conservation area to make this a much better conservation area. Now you might not want to call that research so much as applied sociology and engineering and thinking about just how do you help all the species that live here survive. 
But that's what I do for my other research area, is help this large piece of wildland stay in the game.